Are we on? Yes. You guys, they look so good. I'm gonna pass out. You guys are gonna die. Oh. Add more suspense. Go on. Just no, girl. It's because these are like so shiny. You guys are gonna get blinded right now. Like, okay, make sure you turn the brightness down on your phone. Because, bro. <laughs> Look at that movement. Oh, these are brighter than your future. Oh, Let's go. Yeah. Oh my god, girl. It is no secret that I love getting my nails done. It is no secret that you guys love watching me get my nails done. Because, I don't know, it's entertaining. You guys like to know how much I spend or you like to know the designs we come up with. Um, I don't really know why you guys like it, but I love it. If you like it, I love it because I do love getting my nails done and I think it's super fun and I think that taking you guys along through the process is super lit as well. Today we're back with another nail video, you guys, but I'm starting it hella early because I need to show you guys what these nails ended up looking like because if you guys could already tell, I'm missing a whole ass finger and this one cracked in half. What the fuck? I have a tendency of biting my nails, like not actually like biting them to break them, but oh, I think this is my exit. But biting them like this, like you know, and una de esas, I like bit it and it cracked, and I was like, oh, I shouldn't do that. And so this was not the nail tech spa. This was not Alyssa's spa. This one, um, what my nails are just so thin. I think that's why it popped off, but. I'm getting my nails done today. I'm so excited. Today's nail set is gonna be inspired by an artist. Anytime I get my nails done, I always post them on my Patreon first, period. Like, as soon as I get them done, I have to show them to somebody. So I post them on my Patreon because my Patreon's gang gang, comment down below. You guys already know that I tell you guys everything. And so they get to see my nails like the day they come out. And then after that, then I post my video and I always put the nails on the thumbnail. I don't know that you guys, get like oh man we already saw them i mean the thumbnail though like the thumbnail picture is so small you know but i think if i just put my face without the nails you're like okay so what did you do you know but anyway as you guys can tell by the thumbnail these nails are super popping they're super cute i'm so excited i don't even have them on yet and i'm just so ready for the mish the ones that i'm getting today they're more like oh we're classy we're cute we're uniform we're here to get a rich sugar daddy's money, you know? These are more like, I'm ready to party and I pay my own bills, you know? The ones I'm about to get today, they're like, I'm a sugar baby, what's up, you know? Which I'm not, by the way, because I don't want my family in Mexico thinking otherwise from that one sentence in English that, I ha that they half understood. So anyway, I'm not a sugar baby, but my nails are sugar baby material. My heels this weekend are sugar baby material. My pedicure is sugar baby material, but I'm not. I got a whole ass man and I pay my own bills just so we get it, get it right. No shade, no tea towards the sugar babies, bitch. I wish I would. Right now I'm on my way to get my lashes done. I got my lashes done last time when we went to Guadalajara and I finally found a girl that does the lashes how I like them, which is, <sighs> ah! Oh, salud, gracias, gracias, please, gracias. You guys can tell me salud in the comments. Anyway, so I finally found a girl who does the lashes how I like them, which is just like extra full, extra long. Ex like, bitch, she literally does lashes like Russian volume. Like, like I don't even know how to do lashes like this. Like, she's so good. And so I found her on Instagram from a nail page, actually. And so I hit her up last time, and she's super sweet. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go get my nails, my lashes done. So I got them done last time. Y ya me como que me acostumbré. I was like, que a gusto. O sea, te levantas, ya no me las tengo que poner. So a long time ago, when I was like 25 to, no, maybe 24 to 26, I would get my lashes done literally every two weeks literally like religiously, you know, so now Like for the last year year and a half I was getting like the lash strips because they're cheaper The only thing is that they're just more work, you know, like you have to put them on and off I do I do like how I look without lashes like with no makeup without lashes But I don't know like when I travel especially like when I was in Guadalajara It was super convenient to just like have my lashes on all the time and I didn't have to worry about putting them on and on on and off i would just do my face makeup and i was done you know so for vegas i was like i'm just gonna keep doing them so this is what my lashes look like look two weeks after so they're like hella bald oh it's so bright i was wearing my sunglasses they're hella bald but they're gonna look so bomb right now you guys you guys are gonna go i'm gonna look like a brand new bitch this weekend you guys i'm ready to take cute ass pictures you guys saw my outfits you guys saw the vision <laughs> Oh no, no, my say Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Sorry, ah! Sorry, bro. Sorry. 
Se enojó. No te enojes. Oh, man. I'm gonna stop next to him. He's gonna be like, you're recording. That's why you couldn't tell. I'm gonna stop next to him. What the fuck? I'm gonna stop back here. I don't want him to see me. Ay, soy bien picuda cuando ando manejando. Like, somebody does some shit. And I'm like, what the hell? Pero me da miedo. Like, you never know who has a gun. You never know, like, who's really about that life. Because I'm like, soy picuda when I'm in my car, bitch. But you get off and you have a gun or you're really down to fight, I'm gonna be like, you know how much these nails cost, bitch? I'm not about to break them on you. Okay, you guys, I am back for my lashes. Look, bitch, they're so thick. And I don't have a lot of lashes, so me impresiona, you know? We did the cat eye, oh, thanks. <laughs> we did the cat eye today, as opposed to last time she said she did the doll eye. So I was a little bit nervous to do the cat eye because I feel like my eyes are a little bit droopy already. So I felt like it was gonna be heavier on this side, but I don't think they look too bad, you know? But, okay, I told you guys that I was gonna be getting my nails done after. It's like a full day of beauty today. So, look who's back. Hi. Liz is back. <laughs> You guys, this is a third video with Liz, so I'm so glad we all love her and like her. Um, and we're gonna do nails today, which is why she's here. So, um, I'm excited because today we're trying for the first time where she's gonna shave the acrylic off and we're gonna take the top layers to start a new set on top of this. Um, I'm really excited about that because I'm excited to be giving my nails a break so I don't have to take off nails and put them back on and stuff. And then after this, I think I'm gonna just keep doing this because this is what, what's working for everybody, including my nails. My nails are happy with that. So um, Samantha's coming over later today because she's gonna get her nails done as well with Liz and she's gonna do both of her nails so it's like a little bit more worth it, you know? She's coming for both people instead of one. I'm gonna show you guys the process as we're doing it. But like I told you guys earlier, they're inspired by an artist, if you guys can guess. I, I'm really excited because these look really classy and a little bit different than what I've done before. But before we go on with that, I did wanna show you guys some of Liz's stones because she just picked some up. Can I show them? So another nail tech sold these to her. Okay, so a nail tech, I follow hello of you guys. And so this girl was like, hey guys, like I'm trying to get rid of my stones because I'm gonna buy Swarovskis, like only Swarovskis. So these are like imitation, but they're like really shiny. And she's like, I'm selling them for 80 bucks, she said. Yeah. So she's like, I'm selling them for 80 bucks. So I sent it to Liz and I was like, dude, like if you can use them, like that's a pretty good price because there's like hella stones. And she's like, oh my God, yes. So the girl that she got them from, like she's like around where I live. So then Liz was like, okay, I might as well just like stop, get them. And then, you know, like, then come after and so look let me show you guys look at all these stones and these are like imitation i'm gonna buy some of these off of you so i can finish my cup girl did i tell you i'm bedazzling a cup yes take all of these oh, <laughs> all the big ones i'm like yes you guys know that i got into bedazzling so imagine i told i told myself i was like if liz doesn't get them it's a sign that i'm gonna get them you know so i can bedazzle things but i'm glad you got them because i don't know what i would need all these things for these are like regular stones and i wanted to show you because uh liz has some sorowskis like real ones so i was going to show you guys the difference between the way they shine just so you guys could see because she just showed it to me and i was like oh yeah i feel like i could tell so i'm gonna bring this one so this one's the imitation and then which one's the one we compared it with oh my pasas una so look these are all sorowskis Make the Look chair. <laughs> okay, okay. So I'm not gonna tell. I'm gonna. I'm gonna switch them around. I better see if you guys could tell. Let's see who's a real nail pro in the comment section. Imagine I can even tell, and I'm like, oh fuck. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So which one's Sarowski? Which one's not? I don't know if it could shine well enough right there, but I feel like I could tell already. Okay, well, let me do it with this now that doesn't have a lot of diamonds, so it doesn't distract you guys. Can you guys tell the difference? Comment down below before I tell you. Okay, I'm gonna tell you. This one, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this one you could tell, it's just more shiny, like it has more angles of shine. Mm -hmm. This one, like it's shiny still, but next to the Swarovski, I feel like you could tell. It's clear. Yeah. So the price difference, I don't know how it's to say depends. it. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, it depends. I don't even think my camera can get that close. But yeah, they're right there, you guys. Yes, girl. So these are my nails, and they're not gonna be my nails for long because they're getting changed. You guys, look at our traveling nail tech. 
Liz has two whole ass maletas, you guys. Like you even have the fur over there for the pictures when you're done. <laughs> Look at this one one's empty. Oh, that's where your stuff is. Yeah, that's all my, my liquids. Dang, girl, you can run a whole nail shop right here. I have snacks in there too. I'm Do you really? <laughs> oh my god, dead. <laughs> You guys, so look, this is what we were talking about. She literally filed all of the pink glitter off, and then we could do any set we want now. Smartest idea ever. Look, this is what it looks like when she's doing it. Literally, and she just files off. Is it hard to do it? The first trip? Mm -hmm. mm, it's kind of not really. Okay, you guys, one hand is done, and the other one, we're about to start working on it. So look, this is the one hand we've done. And this nail, you guys, that's the one I was telling you that I was like, go up in the jita and then crack, I cracked it. So Liz said that we're either gonna extend it with like a nail form or with the nail tape. What do you think is better, a nail form? Probably a nail form. Yeah, cause mm -hmm. it's easier? Yeah. Look, this is like wife me when I have kids. And then this is me right now, <laughs> when my kids grow up. <laughs> they look so different. Also, shout out to Applaca Joe, you guys. I'm wearing this ring from there, this ring. Oh, and I wanted to show you guys this necklace too. The drop is happening today. When this is when this video is coming out, the drop already happened. You guys can go check out the website to see if there's anything left because my Patreon killed it, you guys. The Patreon sale went on early, and I told you guys if you really are into Applaca Joe, I really, really, really recommend that you check out the Patreon page. It's only five dollars to join. But you get a 15% off code, so most of the time you end up saving way more than $5. And you get an early access. Not for this drop, because, you know, obviously it already happened. But, yeah, they actually sold out some of the items. And I was like, I thought I had brought enough. I'm excited. You want to say hi to the vlog? Oh, uh, what's up, vlog? <laughs> Denny J, you guys making an appearance. You already know. <laughs> Okay, you guys, look. Hold on, baby. I just said you algo. Um, you guys, this is the nail that fell. I know I need a break. Don't judge, please. Um, we're going to take a break after the set, maybe. But why are you looking at me like that, baby? You're not excited? Yeah, I'm excited, too. You're excited for my nails, baby? Yeah, I can't wait. Don't. You didn't even compliment my toes yesterday. I didn't see your toes yesterday. I know. Tanta atención me pones. You're wearing socks. No, I was not. Let's go! Look at who's here. I came with the supplies. She brought the goods, you guys. Oh my god, I fucking come feel so good. Ah! Okay, sorry, Liz. Oh, it was, it was my good. left hand. Here, here, here. You're good. Oh my gosh, you guys. I hadn't had coffee all day. I had coffee yesterday. And when Samantha was on her way, I was like, bitch, can you please bring me coffee? So it's a nail party. Samantha's also here. Oh, I'm gonna pretend I'm not here. In the mirror. <laughs> Bitch, all, everybody in the vlog knows that one's fake. What? You didn't know that was a fake one? No. I wow, didn't, Samantha I didn't even know. doesn't watch the vlogs. Uh, which one was it? Was it the Calle Homeless? No, bitch, I bought that in Guadalajara for $45. Can you believe it? And it's a good replica, you guys. But oh my gosh, you guys, coffee's so delicious. I feel like I have nine more lives right now with the coffee. And we're gonna start doing the stones. We're almost done with the shaping, bitch. It looks so bomb. Chef's kiss. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys, we have, I'm gonna borrow your light yeah, real course. quick. We have shaping done, bomb and done. Oh my God. We're ready to add some stones and spice up our lives, you guys. Oh, with the professional lighting. Okay, bitch. 
So the point of this video, we decided. I told Liz because she recently got Swarovski's. Sorry, I didn't say so that. I'm gonna uh, do. Swarovski's. Okay, first of all, I speak English as a second language, so it's stop coming English. from me. Okay, <laughs> you guys, first of all, everybody can say it however they want. Okay, no, for real. I'm gonna get all, I know, sorry, but it's because everyone's gonna make fun of me. <laughs> anyway, okay, so I'm gonna get all Swarovski diamonds, all of them. Like, there's not gonna be one fake diamond on my nail. Now, looking at these, I don't think I've ever, ever had Swarovskis on my nails because... These shine different, bitch. Like, it hit different? they shine different. I'm gonna show you right now. So I told Liz, she recently got the Swarovskis. So I was like, you know what, bitch? Cobra me. Let's do it. I'm gonna get them all. We're gonna see what they look like. And I'm gonna show you guys the shine different. I mean, the, the way that they shine before and after. So we're gonna start doing the, the stone placement. Pray for me, bitch. Que no me cobran un ojo. She has gold ones. We'll see what they end up looking like. So for now, I think I'm gonna do the clear ones and the champagne ones. So we're gonna use these, bitch. <laughs> I feel like, I don't know how to act right now. I'm gonna be like, hello. I'm gonna start every vlog like, what's up guys? It was really, really good. <laughs> I see, when I meet people, look at my nails first and then talk to me. Okay, bitch. I waited my whole day for this. I thought my whole life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. I was gonna say my whole life, but. All right, you guys. So I didn't tell you, but the inspiration behind this nail set, it's the one and only Sweetie. La Sweetie? Yeah, La Sweetie. I don't know why it's not focusing, but you guys know she's such a fashion icon. I love her. I'm super inspired by her. I try to channel her on this Vegas trip, so you know I did the most. Um, and these nails, she's actually had them. Like, this is like a direct recreation of these nails. She doesn't really take close up pictures of her nails. So, even like me trying to look up her nails, like as a hashtag and stuff, they're not. You can't, huh? Yeah, like she doesn't really. Like, she'll share these, but these are like old ones. We actually found this picture. Look. What's the name? Nails by Lily. Lily, yeah. So, shout out to her because those came out bomb. So are those inspo or those are Sweetie's hands? Right? No, those are not Sweetie's hands. Those are inspo. Okay. Like I think she copied Sweetie's hands and then we're copying the yeah, copy. Yeah, but how she copy her so bad if there's not that many close-up pics? Well, it's just that we could tell that it was like we could tell that it was like a French manicure with uh, diamonds oh, on yeah, the yeah. yeah on the nude part. Okay. Go off, sis. <laughs> it's just even one. Fuck it up. <laughs> one one stone. We're like yes, yeah. bitch. <laughs> All of us. Passes out in Spanish. Done. <laughs> We believe in you, Liz. The power. Start shaking. The YouTube gang is yes. praying for you, bitch. <laughs> for your success. We are, we're all rooting for you, Liz. You guys, I already don't know what to do with my life. I'm not gonna show them to you guys until they're done. All Sarowski, bitch, period. Que me cobren bien. Oh my God. Okay, you guys. So apparently it's very common for people to claim to you Sarowski, and then it's not. Liz got these um, at a store in LA, so you physically went to go get them, right? Yes. Now, the thing is, we never know. I'm gonna show them to you guys, and like the Sarowski experts in the comments can let me know. But basically, like anybody, you would think that they're not gonna do fake because it's their reputation. Like, for example, if she was to use these and like she bought them, and I'm like, oh, you know, those are not real. Like, obviously, that store's gonna lose reputation and they're gonna lose clients, right? So if you're a nail tech, let me know, like, is it really common for people to say that they're Swarovski and they're not? And can you tell right away? And how do you tell? Because I don't have enough experience. Like, now looking at these, I'm like, oh yeah, I could tell the difference between, like, the ones I've used before and these ones. But if I was, like, at a random nail shop like I've been before, I wouldn't know the difference. Like, I wouldn't know how to tell. I'm excited to get you guys' input because I know y'all already know all the answers to all the nail problems of the world. Estamos aquí para hablar de mis uñas. Bish. Oh my gosh, you guys. First of all, wow. I have my list of thank yous that I want to give. First off, I want to thank Liz for giving me the bombest nails ever. Um, second off, I want to thank my subscribers for watching this video. Third off, I want to thank Baby Jesus for inspiring me and providing the money for me to have these nails. 
Okay, you guys, I know y'all say I'm too dramatic, but fuck it, it is what it is. I'm literally so shook at how bomb my nails came out. I feel like I haven't been this excited about my nails. Have I ever been this excited about a nail video before, bitch? Okay, so let me just get right ahead and actually tell you guys what's really, really good. So let me show you my nails. So you guys don't, no se me, no se me estresen. They look so good. Okay, here we go, ready? Here's what they look like. And I honestly feel like it's not even doing its service. You guys, I love a French tip classic manicure. Chef's kiss, bitch. I feel like I haven't done, I hadn't done something like this ever, but after I saw it on Sweeney, I was like, I have to do it. It's gonna look so good, especially for Vegas because there's just so many different like dresses I can wear this with. It goes with everything. I have my pedicure that's French tip and stuff. So I was a little hesitant because normally I like to go for the crazier stuff and I like to like be more out there and just like add a more like Shazam to it, you know? But I thought to myself, you know what? like. Let's just try it. Let's try the classy thing. Let's see how it works out. Let's just try it. And bitch, I do not regret it at all, you guys. So Liz, as you guys know her, she's done my nails three different times. I'm so grateful for her because she has literally came through every single time. I feel like every set gets better, you guys. You know. This time she actually told me, she's like, hey, I actually got some Swarovski crystals. Do you want to try them out? Um, and I was like, first of all, yes. Um, I feel like in the nail community, a lot of times people talk about Swarovski crystals and they say like, oh yeah, I use Swarovski, I use Swarovski, I use Swarovski. I had never seen them before, but now being able to see them in the flesh, in person, I feel like they're just shine different. Like they're way more shiny than every other nail crystal I've ever seen before. Like with any one I've ever gotten my nails done. I don't think I had ever used Swarovskis before. I feel like these, like even from far, they're like super shiny, you know? I don't know. Nail techs, if you like could tell the difference, like I was telling you guys earlier, like if there's a way like for sure to know. Well, first of all, I didn't even know, and I don't know if I'm correct, but I thought Swarovski was a brand of crystals. And it turns out the Swarovski is a type of rhinestone, which I had no idea it was. Um, so and this time we use the clear ones and we use the champagne ones. And we also use these like opal ones. You see like these right here, these opal ones. So I think they look so good and they look super like, like just classy and very like exquisite, you know? Uh, I'm so grateful for Liz because I was like, bitch, go me bien, you know? Like she's been telling me that a lot of you guys have been like showing her support, following her, asking her to do your nails. And honestly, yes. Um, today we actually did the technique where she did the clear layer of acrylic and then well, last time she did a clear layer of acrylic and then she did the colorful acrylic on top. So today she was able to shave all off all the pink acrylic and I didn't even have to get a new set, you guys. This was like straight up, just like took off all the old acrylic and then just put new one on, which I think would be, or it's so great because then if you're trying to like not continue to like take your nails off and put it back on, take your nails off and put it back on, eventually if you continue to do that, your nail bits are just gonna be like super damaged, you know? So I personally think that this is the best option, at least for me, like she can continue to like shave it off and then put new, like a new set on because this way, like you could just never have to get new sets, you know? So I don't know how many nail techs do it like that. This is actually the first one that I told her, like I was like, oh, you should try it out like that. You know, like I would like it because that way, like we like don't have to get new sets and she like, I like you said in the last video, she took it onto herself to go find out how to do it and like to practice it, which I'm so grateful for her because I'm just so happy. <sighs> now we come to the time. How much did I pay? How much did I pay? Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Liz, I was like, okay, Liz, ¿cuánto te debo? Cóbrame, por favor. Es tiempo. I got a fail. I was missing a nail. And I got all Swarovski crystals. Now, if you guys don't know, nail techs tend to charge more for Swarovski crystals because they pay more for Swarovski crystals. Everybody pays different rates depending on where they go. And everybody charges differently depending on their prices. I personally think 
that Liz continues to give me the homie discount even though I tell her not to give me the homie discount because she's a hardworking girl, you know? So, I helped her out to make the recibo because she's actually doing Samantha's nails right now, my friend. So she was like, oh, like, I don't know. And I was like, okay, I have to film my video. So like, I'll help you. So, okay, this was a fill with French tip, Swarovski crystal on all nails. I have Swarovski crystal on all 10 nails, 10 nails and I was missing a nail. So she said fill was $35, French tip was $10 on top of that. And it's acrylic French tip, by the way. Um, and then the Sarowski, she was a little bit hesitant and she said, ah, ooh, ah, 15. And then I was like, okay, and the missing now, she's like, no, 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 you don't have to charge the missing now. But I did add $5 to the missing now because I was like, no, girl, you worked hard, so don't worry, I'll add it. So in total, it was $55 with a no tip, right? Um, I think that is ridiculously affordable for everything that she did. So I guess my thing would be like, if you're a nail tech, like don't be afraid to charge. Or if you're an independent contractor, like you know how much you're worth and you know how all the hard work you put in, all the supplies you buy, all the practice you do, um, especially if your work is good, you know, like don't be afraid to charge people. And if people think you're too expensive or if people don't want to go with you or because they don't want to pay the price, then they don't have to go with you. They can go to another nail shop. They can go to another nail tech. They can go to somebody else. When someone's inquiring your services is because they like the thing you're doing. Know your worth and don't be afraid to charge it and that tax to a bitch. That's just a little message I have to say to my nail techs or to all women in all independent contractor fields because I think a lot of times us women, like we down talk our worth and we like hesitate like oh i don't know i don't know i don't know like you have to know your worth you have to know what you're willing to pay i mean what you're willing to charge and just know that if somebody thinks if somebody thinks they're you're charging too much they're not the client for you because you don't want cheap clients you want clients that are going to pay what you're worth so with that being said um let's charge me 55 and then i added a 20% tip, so 20% of 55 is 11, so then it came out to 66, I'm gonna give her $70. Um, so I ended up paying $70 with the tip included and then the $30 house fee that she um, charges all the time, I Venmo her that as a deposit. So in total for the whole thing is $100 for the fill. And you guys, something I do have to say is like, Whenever I feel like somebody's doing a lot for me, which I feel like Liz does so much for me, like she gives and gives and you're like, no me quiere cobrar bien, you know, like the more you do for me, the more I feel like I want to do for you because I want to make sure that people feel appreciated anytime they come into contact with me, anytime that they're doing a service for me because I want people to leave with a good taste in their mouth. Like just how I love for you guys to be here and to leave with a good taste in your mouth every time you watch a video, that you learn something new, that you, you know, you just feel good. Um, same thing like in person, you know, like I want her to feel loved. I want to, to I want her to feel like papacha, you know. I think that I remember my therapist was like, well, you should like ask these girls to give you a discount because you know, you're doing the YouTube channel and you're like promoting them. And the thing is like, I only work with people who I feel like a connection to, who I feel like are dope, who I feel like you guys are like, I feel like they're worth of you guys because I take so much care of you guys. Like you mean so much to me and I wanna introduce you to people that are dope and I wanna introduce you to people that are worth working with and that you guys can reach out to and stuff. So. I feel really good about this set. It's honestly like my favorite set that I've had in a long time, you guys. And I'm so grateful for Liz for coming out here and giving it to me. And honestly, $100 is totally worth it for a house fee, for the Swarovski diamonds, for the French tip, for everything. Like, I feel like if I got this at a nail shop, they would be like easily like $150. I've paid more for less than this, you know? So I guess the message to the nail takes is like, know your worth, charge it and add tax to a bitch because you're worth that. You work hard. You deserve to charge what you're worth, baby girl. And if you're watching this, it is your turn to get your money. Oh, 20, 20, bitch. Get your coin, bitch. Get your coin. Stop doubting yourself. You are worth 
everything you charge. And if somebody tells you otherwise, eso es, eso es un pinche pedo, no tiene nada que ver contigo. If they want a cheap job, they can go somewhere else. <laughs> I'm really happy that you guys are here kicking it with me and enjoying the nail vlogs. These are my nails. They look so beautiful. I'm obsessed with them. And I think it's pretty safe to say I'm gonna continue to get Swarovski crystals because I just feel like they look different. They shine different. It's a different mood compared to like older crystals. If you guys know what Swarovski comes from or like what the difference is between like other rhinestones and the Swarovski ones, please feel free to comment down below. Explain to us. Um, and with that being said, let me know, would you get the set? Would you pay this much? A hundred dollars for a fill? Um, do you think they're too long? Do you think they're too short? Do you think the rhinestones don't look real? Do you think they look real? Are they Swarovski? Are they not? I know a lot of times you guys know random facts and you're able to provide that information for us. So I am ready to hear you out in the comments. I'm going to be watching. I am obsessed, bitch. I really am. I just feel like I want to walk around like this. <laughs> I hope your nails make you feel as bomb as these nails make me feel because I really do feel. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling my feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling my feeling my feeling myself. And with that being said, if you're a nail tech, let me know how much you would charge for these because I know everybody has different prices. Let me know where you're at and how much you would charge for it. With that being said, bish. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for kicking it. If you want to join the fam by clicking the subscribe button, please feel free, bish. We're here kicking it. I have vlogs. I have other projects, not just the nail videos. If you want to see more videos, more private stuff, more like behind the scenes, more things like that, feel free to click, click the link down below to join my Patreon page. You can join for just $5 a month and then you get a bunch of exclusive stuff. And with that being said, I think that's it for today, bitch. I'll see you guys in Vegas. There's going to be Vegas vlogs. Los quiero mucho. Lávense la cola. Que Dios los bendiga. And I'll see you guys at the next video. Bye, baby.